Learn about the Dangote Oil Refinery in Nigeria. Dangote Refinery is a 650,000 barrel per day integrated refinery and petrochemical project now under construction in Nigeria's Lekki Free Zone. When completed in 2020, it will be Africa's largest oil refinery and the world's largest single train complex. The project is being developed by Dangote Oil Refinery, a subsidiary of the Nigerian Dangote Group, with an estimated investment of $12 billion. The Dangote Refinery would process a wide range of light and medium crude grades to generate Euro V level clean fuels such as gasoline, diesel, jet fuel, and polypropylene. The integrated refinery and petrochemical plant is planned to employ 9,500 people directly and 25,000 people indirectly. Africa Reloaded, after all, has a lot to offer today, right? But first, let's get started. Simply give us a thumbs up, share, subscribe and turn on your notifications for incoming videos. The refinery alone has a 400 megawatt power plant that can meet Ibad and Disco's entire power need. All of Nigeria's refined product requirements will be met by the refinery, which will also have a surplus of each of these products for export. The Dangote Petroleum Refinery is a multi-billion dollar project that will generate a market for Nigerian crude worth $11 billion per year. It's designed to process Nigerian crude, but it can also handle other types. Dangote Refinery has significance for Nigeria. Nigeria is Africa's second-largest oil-rich country after Libya, with estimated proved oil reserves of 37 billion barrels. Due to a lack of internal refining capability, the West African country is reliant on imported refined gasoline supplies. The Dangote refinery will double Nigeria's refining capacity, allowing the country to fulfill rising local petroleum demand while also earning foreign currency through exports. Dangote Oil Refinery Location and Site Details The refinery complex is being built on a 2,635-hectare plot of land in the Lekki Free Zone, near the Lekki Lagoon, on the Atlantic Ocean's shore. The refinery's location makes it excellent for quick transshipment of refined petroleum products to international markets. Dangote has already constructed a port near the refinery building site to receive heavy equipment. Dangote Oil Refinery Design Details A crude distillation unit, CDU, and associated facilities, a mild hydrocracking, MHC, unit, a residual fluid catalytic cracking, RFCC, unit, a naphtha hydrotreater, and a gasoline hydrosulfurization, HDS, unit, as well as alkylation units, are among the processing facilities for the Dangote Refinery. Sulfur recovery and hydrogen generation facilities, as well as a polypropylene unit, will be housed in the refinery complex. The hydrogen generation plant, which consists of two steam methane reformer SMR, units, will create 200,000 normal meter cubed per hour of hydrogen and steam to manufacture sulfur-free fuels. The Stratco alkylation unit, the MEX sulfuric acid regeneration, SAR, unit, the MEX Dina Wave Sulfur Recovery Unit, and the Belco EDV Fluid Catalytic Cracking Unit are among the refinery's other processing units. The refinery's capacity is 50 million liters of gasoline and 15 million liters of diesel per day. Production. The Dangote Refinery will produce 10.4 million tons of gasoline, 4.6 million tons of diesel and 4 million tons of jet fuel each year. It will also produce 0.69 million tons of polypropylene, 0.24 million tons of propane, 32,000 tons of sulfur, and 0.5 million tons of carbon black feed every year. Infrastructure facilities, a pipeline system, Access roads, tank storage facilities, and crude and product handling facilities are among the refinery complex's infrastructure facilities. A maritime terminal has also been built as part of the project, which includes a breakwater, jetty, and port. An administration building, guardhouses, a fire station, and pump stations were all built to support the project. 
a fertilizer facility will be housed within the refinery complex, which will utilize refinery byproducts as raw materials. Financing for Dengate Refinery Standard Chartered Bank has agreed to lead a group of local and foreign banks in providing a $3.3 billion syndicated lending facility for the project. The U.S. Trade and Development Agency is offering a training grant of 251.3 billion Naira, $0.997 million, for the refinery's human resource development. Contractors involved the project's engineering, procurement and construction EPC, contractor is Engineers India. A contract was awarded to Honeywell UOP for the supply of catalyst regeneration and dry regeneration control systems, as well as column trays, heat exchanger tubes, a modular CCR unit, and catalyst coolers. CNI Leasing was hired to provide transportation and installation services for the refinery's mooring systems and subsea pipelines. The refinery steel construction was provided by Hang Zio Steel Structure Company, which was awarded a $112 million contract. The Jan de Null Group was hired to perform land reclamation work. The two compressor trains were supplied by Mayan Diesel and Turbo, while the SMR units were supplied by Air Liquide Engineering and Construction. Other suppliers engaged in the Dankate Refinery project include Fabtech, 18 Columns, Schneider Electric, Process Automation Systems, Sofic, Catenary Anchor Leg Mooring Boys, and Wabag, Raw Water Treatment Plant. When finished, the Dangote Oil Refinery would be the largest oil refinery in Nigeria and one of the largest in Africa. When completed, this project will employ thousands of Nigerians and boost the country's economy. It will enable Nigeria to produce and sell oil on a local and global scale, allowing it to preserve its position as one of the world's leading oil producers. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video. Please remember to like, share, and leave a comment. Please subscribe to Grace Media for more information on African projects.